Hello, this is Dave. I want to show you an effect. I've seen this on YouTube uh, in the past. But I'm doing something a little bit different. I've got a uh, induction coil uh, microphone here connected to an amplified speaker. And I've got these two quarter inch uh, N42 magnets. Now, what we've seen on uh, YouTube is one, you take these two magnets and uh, run them into each other they will spin and I will show you how that is but it it's kinda hit or miss but when they get uh, spinning the fastest they uh, they seem to generate a certain frequency I'm gonna try and reproduce this it may take a couple times but uh, there's no nothing energized here it's just the two magnets that was a mess there we go. There's that frequency. And you can see the magnets spinning. We're getting kind of close to the edge, which will I'll try and move the tray a bit. But they spin pretty good on this glass tray for not being uh, powered up. Okay, so now if I pan over here to the my little dish and the Bedini coils underneath, which is just a twisted pair of uh, cable, twisted pair of conductors connected to a sine wave generator. Now I can get the same effect uh, on the small plate. Takes a, it's a little trickier. Ah. There we go. Now, if I turn the generator on, I can keep them spinning. Ah. Didn't work. Try it again. Start at a lower frequency. No. Turn this off. Turn it on. I believe it will keep going. some trouble with the focus here. Sorry about that. Try and zoom in on that magnet. Get the camera off the tripod here. Earthquake. Set at about 20 hertz, maybe 5 volts uh, peak to peak sine wave. I can adjust the frequency. Smooth that out a bit. And that will, these two magnets will remain uh, spinning just like that. Thanks for watching.